Hi, my Yarny friends. I'm on here today to share with you some new Amagurami books that I got because the tag made me do it. <laughs> and a couple new ones that I received as gifts. But I thought before I showed you the Amagurami books, I thought it'd be perfect to show, show you my shelves up here. I'm going to turn it around and give you a better look at them. I re, um, redid them. I had um, some tea stuff that I was hoping to do a tea party with my granddaughter. It hasn't happened. I decided that I wanted to take that off and only have amigurami up here. I had some yarn that was gifted and I wanted to take that off, wanted to take it off so I could use it because I know what I want to use it for. So anyway, so I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to give you a better view of everything that's up here as best that I can because I'm short. Maybe I'll get a ladder. Anyway, and then we're going to look at Amigurami books because I'm addicted. <laughs> so this is my shelving on my drawers and I redesigned it. Oh no, I got a gnome up there. He's my little breast cancer gnomes falling it forward. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to give you a quick view so you could see what it looks like. Let's zoom into some of these and get a closer look of them. I have at the very, I don't know if I can put my hand. Oh, there you go. Right here, he's my big foot and um, he's my lamb from Cutest Creations. This is my Mr. Perzalot with my Mickey Mouse ears I made. That's my design, my unicorn, um, Princess Trots a lot. This is the doll right here I bought. I can't use such teeny yarn. I love her. Um, you can see my minions, my gift from Stitchy, Sti um, Gail at Stitch a Doodle, Stitch a Doodle, <laughs> my monster tutorial, um, just lots of fun stuff. Marnie made me the pillow and the, the bear right there. And then my gnome, my lovebirds. I do have a mug. That one's cracked. I think I might use it. I need something on my desk for pens, but I'm trying to get that my Zazzle up, but it's just so hard when you don't feel well all the time. Um, so these are, um, this is what you see in the background. There's my one of my favorite Amagramis ever, the Flying Pig, my Mr. Barks a lot, um, my Fox um, from a yarn gifted, um, Mr. the Bear from the same book. So, oh my goodness, so that's just a close-up if you're ever wondering. I really need to fix that doll's hair back there. She's not quite done yet, but this is what you see and how I redid it. Yes, I do have a lot of amigurami. However, this is probably one-sixth of what I've made. I've given away probably five times this amount to family, to friends, to charities, um, things like that. So let's get into the books so we can make more of these cutie pies. <laughs> so was it that so cool? I'm so glad I remembered to show you. So I was excited that I was able to rearrange it. I am having lighting issues to do it this late at night. This is the best I can do. Um, 
you know, I gotta do these vlogs when I can, and the lighting here, these the lights up in the ceiling are causing issues, but I think you can see me well, and you can see I held up the books. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out well. So I'm on here to show you the books that I got because the tag made me do it. I have a huge, huge list. Darn, I was gonna bring that card in. Oh, well, I have a big old index card full backside, front side of books that I want. Um, I, I don't know how many there are. There is a ton. And um, a couple of these books, they weren't like the number one, uh, you know, ones I wanted, but I had found them for $10 or less. And I'm like, yep. So my goal, and I think, yeah, I do have my prices. So my goal is to just start picking away at the ones that I want when I find them for a really, really good price. So if you find an Amagurami crochet book for 10 or less, let a girl go, because that's what I want to buy them to build my collection. Because if I get, you know, them for $10... I could get two as opposed to one uh, one for 20 unless it's one that I'm just dying to get. But there's, you know, there's no reason why I can't wait, wait for a good sell. And I don't mind getting used as long as it's in good condition. So I will not remember what vlog. I, I've seen so many vlogs. I haven't even watched them all. I, you know, a lot of people have a lot of the same Ambergrammy books. It's so cool. And I want to have more and more crochet alongs because you guys help me use my books. So, um, that's exciting. And then I have two books that I was gifted. Woohoo! So let's get started on the books I have in no particular order. So this one I found for $10. It was used. I don't think it was truly used. I think there was this little, little, um, little wrinkle. <laughs> I can't like in it and so that's why they discounted it because it wasn't in mint condition for a brand new book and um I'm really excited about this book because I saw Juliet KS Mom crochets she made this one but it's altered a little bit the designer um shows you on a tutorial how to do horns and change it up to to look like a different elephant and I was hoping to make that for my daughter-in-law, Joy. She wants an elephant. I think there's a lot of cute animals in here. Um, you you can't go 100% buy, like, the the pictures because like those aren't my yarn choices you have to think outside the box of what some of these people use like the cutest crochet creations we had a crochet along so her yarn choices weren't my style and so when you look at them you're like Meh, you know they're not a hundred percent calling my name you know i got the book for like eight dollars that's why i bought it I fell in love with the book. It's worth $18. She has like so many, you know, neat tips in it. And I made like the giraffe right there. It's her pattern. My giraffe looks not totally different because it looks like the same shape and everything. But I did, I used a Tweety mustard yarn, made these big blotches on it, gave it a big rose on its neck, you know, changed the colors of the paws so it looks like it had, um, clippity clop, clop, clippity clop. <laughs> Hoofs. <laughs> I think, I think, do, do giraffes have hoofs like a, horse. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, so with this one, you just have to think outside the box. Ooh, look at that giraffe. I really like, I think she like paints on, no, maybe she does. She doesn't paint. I looked at, it kind of looks painting from here, but I, I don't know where my brain is because it's not painting. It's, it's like, picking up and dropping colors and stuff so anyway isn't he adorable don't you let's look at him real quick before i go on to my next one oh i just saw i 
it just so cute cute thingamabopper <laughs> squirrel <laughs> and i'm squirreling well let me see well fooey i can't find it super duper fast but i really like that hair i think that looks the donkey's pretty darn cute there's a lot of cute animals like the bat and everything oh here he is look at him look at him he seems like a lot of work but maybe he's not things that look like a lot of work to, you know could not be so i am excited to get this book i got this book because of the tag and because i found it for a good price I do have a book in here that the tag just made me do it and it wasn't a good price, but there is a reason. There is a reason! So the next book I found, and I found it for a really, really good price. I love, like, finding things for good prices. And I found this one for, oh my goodness, I found it for $6. What? $6! <laughs> my crochet animals i'm losing my mind yeah okay yes i'm like there's another i have another book that's similar to this isn't that funny season season gave me a book that is kind of similar to this and so and i'm going to get into that but that just made me do a a, a second take <laughs> i wonder if these will fit omg Look at him. Oh, don't you love his face? Isn't he cute? Doesn't he say, make me? I want him. <laughs> oh, 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 it has a... I got this book for $6. What? I wonder if I paid any shipping. Sometimes you have to pay a little shipping. Look at them. Look at that rat. <laughs> So these are what's in here. There is, um, oh, oh my gosh, it's like a picture book. I love it. So these are the animals. <laughs> Look at them, they're hiding their private parts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And it shows you different pictures of these. These are outfits you get to make. Isn't that fun? I wonder if these fit. Do these fit? Do you have this season? Do these fit? Now I'm going to have to show you the next book that I got as a gift. So you get to make outfits for all these different animals. Isn't that cool? And there's so many pictures. I love a picture book. I love it when they have fun pictures. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I love this. I love it so much. Okay, well, I'll show you one more. One more. So that's why I got it. This I got for $6. But before I go on to the one, other ones I bought, I'm going to share with you one that my friend Season, hello, she bought me one because it's similar. It's, it's, it's not the same designer. It's totally different designers. I have no idea if these clothes will fit these animals. But she gifted me this. She knew after I showed her this one book where I was kind of bummed that you crochet these animals and all the clothing were, it's called the dress up, some dress up one. I can't remember the name of it. But I was bummed that they weren't 100% interchangeable, the outfits. And she said these. These all are interchangeable, so I'm super excited, and I like these because they're more simple, and they're, they're bigger, like chunkier arms, so it'll be way easier for the kids to dress them up, so that, and, and you're not putting grand details into it, because kids, you know, when they're th four, five, six, are going to be very rough on these. So, um, I'm really excited. I love that. And then when the animal itself doesn't shine so much, then the, the dress up 
those get a shine. So I'm very, very excited. And I put her, it came in Amazon and what she wrote on it, I put inside my book to forever remember. I'm so excited what she wrote. Look at that sweet photo. Look at the little ruffles. The little buddies hanging out. So cute. Look at Look at all these different interchangeable. That's not crocheted, but that's a cute idea. That it's a ribbon. Oh, it's a ribbon tie. What? It's a ribbon tie. And they use buttons. Look at that. I love that. I love it so much. Oh, and look, I forgot about this page. It shows you all the different outfits that they're wearing. You get the front and the back and look at all those little outfits. Look at that little poncho. Oh, I got to show you one of my favorite things before we go on to the next one. Well, well, fully. I'm going to squirrel it. Look at this poncho. That's not one of my favorite. Well, it is. You see the little peak of one of my favorite things. Oh, and this. I really, really like that scarf for some odd reason. It's just, I love it. I mean, come on. That poncho, too cute. I think it shows you in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wardrobe. Like, it shows you the different shirts. Look at that. You even got a cable shirt. And um, and then it goes into the trousers, extra layers like jackets. This is going to be a cowl, 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 <laughs> crochet along. It's going to be a crochet along someday. Someday. And they got shoes. Where is... Where's her purse? I wanted to show you the purse. How did I miss the purse, guys? I missed the purse. Huh. I know they have a little purse in here. Well, fooey. I can't find it, guys. There's the cutest purse in here. Here. She's holding it. Look at her little granny purse. Don't you love her? Look at her little headband or trousers. Oh my goodness, I love her. Season, thank you so much for this book. It brings me joy knowing that you gave this to me. It. She asked me, she mentioned to maybe save, that she sent me a gift and maybe I could save it for a rough day. And so I did. I was having a really, really, really severe day. And it was mostly into the day, and then I remembered this gift, and I'm like, okay, I need a little ray of sunshine. And I opened it and got a ray of sunshine. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And then my next book. Now, this book, I did not get it at a discount. I don't remember whose channel I saw it on. It was $18. I did not get it on sale, but the reason why I really, really wanted it is it's bigger amigurami, and I bought at the Hobby Lobby yarn haul, really big, like five, six, almost even seven weight yarns wanting to make my grandkids a big old uh, amigurami and I saw this and um, I thought oh my gosh that would be perfect for me to know do I have enough yards and perhaps to use a pattern from here for those big big old honking yarns um, it's a La Hobby Lobby my most recent Hobby Lobby clearance haul at the beginning of, or in the middle of last year I will try to remember to link it in the description box below but I got chunky amigurami amigurumi I don't know which one somebody's tried to tell me a few times and I can't remember <laughs> So, 
I wanted to know, like, okay, I have 250 yards, is that enough? Or, you know, I have 450 yards, is that enough? And I did find a, a couple of them that might work. I can't use blanket yarn. Somebody made, can't remember her name, a buddy bear in this light pink blanket yarn, and I loved it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it one last try to see if I can use blanket yarn. And I just can't. There's too much of a resistance. And after the fall, I, I just, I can't do it. It's not my wrist. It's my shoulder. Um, it hurts my shoulder too much. So I am... Um, going to on Facebook Marketplace because it's too big to ship, costs too much money. I just can't sell it via um, Etsy or anything. The shipping would be too high. So I'm going to be selling my blanket yarn and instead I bought, this is some I had, but I'm um, the Himalayan Dolphin. I'll show you. I got a recent haul that I want to share with you. And um so instead of being like, oh man, I can't use the blanket yarn, which I love, I love it. There was this lamb that I wanted to make really, really bad. And I'm just going to have to make something, make it with something different. But let me show you, like, look at him. Like, I think I can make this owl with what I, one of the yarns, the big old yarns I got from the Hobby Lobby haul. There's just some really cute little chonky. Am I saying that right? <laughs> I don't know which one I landed on. I think I landed on one. Like, okay, maybe I'll try this one. But I don't remember. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Cute little bird. So it all will depend on what I have. If I have an... <laughs> that penguin <laughs> is that a penguin yeah right oh toucan toucan uh, I don't know about my brain so anywho that's why I got it in hopes that this will help me use that chunky yarn that I got and that and I knew about that book because I watched the Amagrami book tag so, um, I'm getting in trouble, Ann, <laughs> but I'm trying, not getting in trouble, but anywho. So this one, okay, this is because I was watching an Amagurami book thing, but this is not crochet like Amagurami. I don't even know if it's called Amagurami, but it's the tag's fault. The reason why I bought this book and I don't have any felt I found a place I want to buy this felt from because I want wool felt because she goes into details. But because of the Amagrami book tag, I bought this. <laughs> you hand sew it. I love to hand sew things. Some of it you just cut and you don't even sew around that. That's why you need to use wool felt or a wool mix. Isn't she adorable? I am going to be making some felt dolls. I am in love. In love. In love with this book. I am chomping at the bit to make. And look, you get to use yarn for their hair. What? Nice. I love it. Like, look... Look at the mermaid. <laughs> so, hopefully this isn't a pipe dream like like a lot of my dreams are. But even this designer, you can buy felt from her website. But I think I found it a little bit cheaper and it looks like good quality. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. But I just tell you. It's just just too adorable. I at least got to make one in my lifetime. At least one. But I don't have any felt yet. So, but that'll be later. And um So, my next Amagurami book was a gift. 
uh, um, it was so sweet of her. So there is a new channel, and the channel's name, I love it. It's called Talk Yarny to Me. <laughs> She's my kind of people. Talk yarny to me. I'm like, all right, I will. And I want to hear it. You talk yarny to me too. And um, her name is, and I don't know if I'm going to say this right, because I haven't heard it on heard it enough to pronounce it properly. I think it's Zuri. Z-U-R-I. And I put her little note in my book too. So, um, so she has like four or five vlogs out and I am her very first Yarny Friend subscriber on YouTube. I just am so excited to have that honor and to forever know that I was her very, very, very first one. And I think last time I looked, she maybe had 26 subscribers. So I ask you, please, please, if you could go over and give her some love and subscribe to her channel, I'd really appreciate it. She knits more than she crochets. However, she is learning to crochet. And um, she loves the yarns we love. She more feels closer to the crochet community than the knit community because she doesn't do the higher end yarns. She loves the yarns that we love. Um, not that knitters, you know, there are other knitters out there that love some of the yarns we love. And there are some crocheters out there that love the really expensive yarn. It, it can go either way. But more often than not, you will see yarn hauls from crocheters or um, talk about, you know, acrylics more. And um, so if you could just, she just loves our community and wants to be a part of our community. And I just think that is just so sweet. And if you could go share, show her some love. Um, so she um, just wanted to bless me. Um, she wanted to bring a little joy into my life. And she did. And she sent me this. I wanted this one so bad. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to make one of these. These guys, this doesn't do them justice. They are super duper cute. Now, I have to say this book isn't as high quality as some books. It is more like high quality, something you would print out at home, but a higher quality. But we're not here for the pictures. Typically, we're here for the pattern. We're here for the cute pattern, and that's what you get is lots and lots of adorable, oh, I'm showing you the pattern. <laughs> like, seriously, isn't she? They're all so cute. I can't wait. We're definitely going to have to do a crochet along <laughs> with this one. They're all, every one of them are so cute. I don't know if she has a picture of all of them, but I'm in love. I love the fact that they're in a little backpack. It's like a purse that you, uh, your little granddaughter or grandson can carry around their little buddy. I love it. I love it. Where'd that monkey go? No, no. I don't see a lit, I don't see a picture. Well, I do, but I don't know how well you can see them. Yeah, that doesn't show you well. They are super cute, guys. They are just super, super duper cute. Oh, there's the monkey. Don't you love her? So, Zuri, am I, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for blessing me, for bringing some joy into my life. I love this book. I cannot wait to make something from it. <laughs> Woohoo! Um... They're so cute, a little hatching bag. And then, um, I just have to show you this 
the 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 tag didn't make me do it. it this is not crochet or yarn or anything but I was at Michael's when I saw it and then I actually bought it online for six dollars I want a doodle I know I'm I just want a doodle but I don't know how to doodle and I don't I can't I'm not imagine imaginative <laughs> So I had to buy this. It takes you step by step. Like how to make these. Oh, look at the shape. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. I just had to share with my friends my little book, my little doodling book. And you know what's so funny? I got this off of Amazon. And it was from a thrift store, a Goodwill, I mean, in San Diego. And I got bookmarks. Somebody left their bookmarks in it. Look at that bookmark. Mark. Great eggs and ham. And then this other bookmark. I don't know this Dr. Seuss one. Yertle the Turtle. I've not read that one before. I'm like, I got two free bookmarks. <laughs> I love this book. Look at this. You even get like a coloring page. So anywho, I'm so happy. What time are we at? That I could share this with you. I'm starting to crash. I've had a weird day today. My body has been really weird. My heart rate just kind of like went crazy high and I wasn't doing anything but sitting in my couch bed. How do you explain? It's just goes crazy and then settles down but then you feel really weird after it um oh my hat if i remember the pattern i think it might be a nostalgia n n n i don't know i will see if i can find the pattern to the hat i'm wearing it just helps cover up my hair <laughs> um let me see oh i had wanted to share with you guys my fireplace um i had asked if anybody cared to see it and a couple people wanted to see it so i'm gonna put a little a fire the little fireplace that we got installed a couple months ago um i'm gonna insert a little clip of that fireplace in, at the end of this i just forget i forget all the time about everything i want to talk about oh Oh, and if you're still here, if you were doing the um, read the Bible in a year with me, I have not missed a day yet. I have done every day and I haven't been able to read in like six, seven years. And it's only like two, three chapters a day, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm a month and a half in and I have done it every day and I hope you have been able to do it every day as well if it's not reading, listening to it. And there is yarn. There is yarn in it. There's yarn in the tabernacle. It's 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 blue, purple and scarlet. I'm like, "What?" And they spun it and they spun it with goat's hair. What? I was so excited. My husband were reading off a, um, um, like a John MacArthur commentary book, but it's on our Kindle. And so we can share it. And he just started, and I read it bef before him about the first time the yarn appeared. And so I highlighted it and he just giggled. He thought it was so hilarious. I had a highlight everywhere. Um, uh, it talked about the yarn. <laughs> And I was just like, there's yarn in the Bible. <laughs> uh, I do love yarn, guys. So anyway, so I hope that you have been able to keep up on it, too, if you've been doing it. But for real, I better, better get going. Because I, it's, it's, yeah. Anywho, I love you guys so very much. And I just thank you for being here. And I just thank you for watching and commenting and being my friend and participating in the crochet, bear crochet along. What? I'm loving it. I can't wait um, for to have more and more and more of them because you guys just bless me. Um, next month is the Pokemon book. 
remember I, I did a yarn haul specifically to do that Pokemon book to make some for my son. So anywho, but that's just a heads up. I forgot to mention that I was going to do that one. Mention it again. I already have a yarny friend, um, Lee, who she's like, what are we doing first? <laughs> I love you, girl. <laughs> so anyway, I better go. Um, if you can like, subscribe, share, I really appreciate it. That's it for now. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Here's our new, newer fireplace. I was going to show you guys, but I, you know, life, illness. Look at how long that thing goes up. It goes up. <laughs> it's a vaulted ceiling, but um, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And he did really good on this fire. It's like a pitcher, pitcher perfect fire. So a little, little soot or whatever that's called, but so beautiful. Woohoo! And warm.